Oh, there we go. Nothing to tell you that it's... Hi, we come live from uh, Belmonte View. We've got a very special guest tonight. We're going to interview him. Comes all the way from uh, Germany. And, uh, well, I would introduce him uh, myself, but since there's no one else, I guess I'm going to have to. And his name is Reginald Van uh, Denkel uh, Schitzmeer und Smith. And he's a very uh, talented uh, individual. And, uh, well, quite a show tonight. Anyway, let's. Uh, Welcome our guest. How you doing? Oh, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing? Man? Not bad, not bad. I'd just like to start off the interview asking you a few questions. Nothing too serious. You, uh, you can't smoke here, I'm sorry. Not now, not in the interview room. Don't worry, one day we'll change that, one day we'll change that. Anyway, uh, I, uh, I noticed that you've been well received from where you come from. Is that so? Well, well, you know. Sometimes, now the time is now. Mm. Oh, anyway, it's a very precise answer, I like that. How long have you been doing what you've been doing? Can I ask that? Doing what I've been doing for about as long as I've been doing it for. It's a pretty long time. Wow, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, you know, I've heard uh, recently you've been giving lots of money to charities. Anything that you picked up along the way? Is this true? Is this true? Well, you know, I, I, I am a big avid fan of donating to charities. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good cause. I, you know, any time I see a bum you know, on the side of the road, I, I give him some money for crack or booze. You know, I, I love giving. I'm all about giving. Yes, yes. Well, giving is a very good thing, especially on the holidays. Oh, right? <laughs> uh, you can't smoke in sorry. Just the rules. Anyway, uh, <coughs> you've, uh, Recently entered two manuscripts into the uh, fifth journal of uh, Islam. Yes, Sanctity. Yes, Sanctity. Yes, Sanctity. Is, uh, who's involved in that? Can I ask who who's involved in that? Well, a good friend of mine, John. Mm -hmm. My other friend, Bill. Very Tyler was also a part of that project. Now, now I heard Tyler was involved with another project earlier. Yes, yes, he was. He was, he was. he was doing something with monkeys. Mm -hmm. I wasn't proud of it. No. And I just would rather not talk about it. All right, we can change the conversation. Thank you. Don't worry, it's all on record anyway. <clears throat> the uh, the audience would uh, would like to see, you know, who they, you know, you know. They trying to say that. Well, I'm trying to say if you could please remove your glasses, it would, it would be nice. And oh, yeah, the yeah, audience yeah. would like to see who you are. But uh, we have more important details, actually. All right, let's get that. Uh, the mathematician known as uh, John Banks was. Oh, uh, I know that bastard. Did, did you hear he was assassinated? Recently? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I, uh, I put that in on him. Really? I, I, I actually heard some rumors going around that you had something to do with that. Yeah, he was, you know, he was, uh, he was talking trash, mm -hmm. and uh, the trash he was talking was, it was just smelly, you know, and we really had to, it was a problem, we had to get rid of it, so we got rid of him. So we took the trash out. We took the trash out. In fact, we took the trash out is the name of our new project. And uh, is that going to be on sale recently, or it's it's uh, in is the it future, the crowd, a very or? near future. You might or might not see something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, keep an eye out for it. So so when did this all start for you? It all started way back in the day mm -hmm. when I was a wee little boy, mm -hmm. and I had a grandfather. He said to me, he "said Reginald von Dinkelsmith Smear Moonsmith, this is your calling." That's all he said. And I took it to heed. Wow. That was absolutely devastating. I, you know, I wonder how you got past that. This is a big man, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very big man. Oh, please, please. This please. Is, no, no, seriously. Please, please. I mean, please. You, you spent your time to come on our show, and you know, we would just like to congratulate you, you know, very honestly. My time is very precious and does cost a lot of money. Mm. The producer was here. He wanted to congratulate you personally, but he had a, uh, a wedding to go to. Ah, uh, these things happen. These things do happen. Uh, I heard that you've been married ten times. Six. Actually, actually, that is a lie. A is it? Bold, is it fabricated is it lie? I've oh, been married eleven times. Eleven times yes. in the past year. In the past year. 
That that's correct. That's got to be some sort of record, wouldn't you say? I might have to look in the Guinness Book, but uh, I think I'm more of a ladies' man than anybody else in the world. I think I could say that as well. With my strapping good looks, my awesome intellect, and my beautiful well, personality. Don't forget those robotic skills of yours. Oh yes, my cat-like reflexes. Supreme. He built the Hyundai robot. You know the little robot that goes around getting newspapers for people? He invented that. This guy alone. Six months did you spend that in the basement? What was it? Actually, uh, More lost than that. I lost track of time. Did you really? I was working on that project. Uh, did, you, you know, you, you can't, you can't like that in here. Sorry, I have to talk to your producer about this. I, he couldn't be here, unfortunately. He would like to have a few words with you as well, but... I can give you some coffee. My time's precious, so let's, uh... Actually, coffee, you say? Did, you, like did coffee? You, did you say coffee? I got some coffee. I would love coffee. It's fresh. Yeah, let me... I would, I would love to have a cup of coffee. All right. Here you go, man. Straight. As fresh as it can be. New smells. That new delicious. coffee smell. Is, coffee this, smell. is this going to brand? That's going to brand. Going to brand. Best that's coffee that's in the, the world. Best. Drink it all the time. I stand by. You know, because you said that we have to buy ten stocks of, of that brand coffee. Well, but that's all right. With our guests, that's nothing. Small price to pay. Small price to pay. Anyway, uh, I, I think you wanted to say something about my. <clears throat> oh yes, yes, yes. Did and you? How it was. Did you ever, you know, get that, get that fixed? Well, you know, you know. I mean, I, so you know, but they don't know. So I'll no. tell them. I'll tell them what they don't. Was it was it working like it should? Yes. Was it? Yes. Was it, it was. was? You know, a what? lot of people complain. Well, you know, they don't know what they're talking about. What about that? Uh, you know that. That uh, thing. Yeah. Oh, that. I don't, that guy. I don't think we should talk about that. No. Let's talk about the other thing with the orange. Oh, that that thing. <laughs> <laughs> now that that. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> <sighs> Haven't seen that kind of action in a long Ooh. time. You know that was that was that was an eye opener. The orange fields are actually they're. Uh, they're uh, dwindling now, actually. Oh, you know, my, I just want to tell the audience out there that oranges are sunny side up. This is this is only uh, actually Florida. They kind of uh, they kind of banned that a little bit. No, it's well, not going as good as they thought it would. Uh, well, you know, these two things happen. You know, I mean, you know, I, I like to spend my time doing productive things, mm. but sometimes. Yeah, just sometimes. Sometimes that kind of happens, and you know, I, I, I can't help to notice. Uh, do you have some sort of addiction you would like to talk about? Actually, to all my fans out there, yes, I am an addict. I have been going to RR meetings mm -hmm. for the last six months. Been in and out of rehab, and I gotta tell you. It was totally <laughs> worth the ride. Wow! I would suggest wow. it to anybody. Wow. Now that is great. Now, you see, you can only find this kind of... I mean... <coughs> you know, producers are kind of, you know, breathing down my neck over here. Yeah, I'll breathe down your neck. Yeah. Don't make me do it. So no, no way you're going to ask that, you know. Oh my god. Hey, man. We, we just bought me. stocks that. We just bought stocks that, bro. To all uh, the audi audience out there, please don't buy any stocks. We could eat a cup. Okay. You know, I... I come down here six days a week to do interviews for these guys, and everyone just blows smoke in my face. You know, you know. I don't think I like the way this uh, interview is going. <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I, you know, you know. You better stick to the questions. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the questions. That was all just a play. We were just joking. No feuding ever goes on in the studio. Now we have uh, two more questions for you. <coughs> One is you. You always wear brown socks. Why? Why is the brown socks you know, part, of, part of the get-up? That actually goes back to when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> it's <laughs> kind of a funny story. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's funny. So I'm sure we would like to hear it. Would the audience like to hear it? <laughs> with a crowd like that, who wouldn't? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you just for you, the one with the red hair down there. I see you smiling. Yeah, that's right. Well, all right. So when I was a kid... I was growing up, you know, in like a house, we all do. like we all do, you know, and one day, <laughs> out of the blue, you know, the door just swings open, and I'm looking outside, and I see nothing, and 
I can't believe that I don't say anything. And you know what? I said to myself, yeah. Sounds pretty good now. <clears throat> now, I don't want to turn this into a psychology bit or anything, but uh, I noticed that uh, <clears throat> a lot of things are rooted deep in your childhood here, sir. Including you, were, it says here you were born with that with that black jacket of yours. Now is that true, or is that is that just? A yes, I came out of my mother's really? vagina wearing this coat, That's and my mom said that she had given it to me. Mm -hmm. She had knitted a small little baby coat and stuck it up her and put it on my shoulders. Wow. And when I was born, I was born with this jacket, and I've had it ever since. Now, now besides the the mental. The mental uh, <clears throat> connection you have with this jacket. I, I hear there's a physical connection as well. Yes, it is actually irremovable. Uh, I cannot remove this jacket. Yes. Seems to have grown into it pretty well. Seems to fit me pretty good. Mother should be proud. Mother is proud. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cute. Now we have one more question for you, and this is this is going to be the buzzkill here, sir. I'm I'm sorry. <clears throat> I heard uh, your uh, relatives are deeply uh, founded into the uh, Nazi regime. Now, I mean, how dare you? The facts. How, how dare you? I mean, I, I understand. You bring up something like that on no, a show sir. like this? No, it's, it's just, it, I mean, it's the questions. I didn't write these questions. I don't come out here. You don't think questions. to think about the questions? I mean, I'm repulsed. Look, I'm I am going to vomit in a corner now, okay? Look, I mean, you I'm don't have to do here. that, sir. Sir, you don't have to do that. I mean, we can, we can continue Fuck this, yeah. you know, sir. But, here. really, yeah. sir, you know, I mean, <laughs> That's 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 my hell of a coffee right there. You know, you got one more question before all I right, go. All right, <clears throat> one more question. <clears throat> and this one's to all the ladies out there. Are your feet actually false? Do you have fake feet? I know. You, you know what that means, huh? You know what that means. I. You're I, trying to ruin me by bringing that up. Huh? No, no. Actually, a lot of people actually that have fake feet look up to you. We actually have the biggest sponsors right now is actually uh, Lithcore Systems, and they actually produce, manufacture, and uh, sell false feet. And being an advocate, I, I thought you might want to, you know. Look, I just want to say something. And whatever I do in the privacy of my own home is what I do in the privacy of my own home. Mm. Not anybody else's business. What I do with monkeys and, and what I do is what I do. And uh, for the record, sir. What exactly is it that you don't do? Well, I don't do... Well, that's it! You heard it! Straight from the, this thing I Folks, this is one hell of a show. Now, if we could please uh, thank our guests. <laughs> Big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming here. And uh, I guess, you know, we'll see you next time. We'll, we'll give you a yeah, call. never. Look, sir. I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> they all say that. They all say that. They'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs>